Hey, this is Tyler. Welcome to another episode of Ross Developer Notes. Today, I'm going to walk you through what you got to do if you want to build Move It 2 on rolling. Um, right now, we don't have a rolling release. Hopefully, soon we will. And for this video, it'll explain why, and it'll walk you through the steps. Uh, I'll also post uh, all the steps that I do in the description of this video. So, you need to install a rolling. That's pretty obvious, I guess. So, first thing we have to do is source our install of rolling. Uh, I use ZSH. Um, I source that one. Anyway, I gotta make a directory to do this in. I'm gonna call it that. And we gotta go there. And then I need to check out the Move2 repo. So I'm using the GitHub command line tool. It's awesome. You should use it. All right. So, um, well, this is checking out. Um, you can't just build what's right on main. Uh, you need to use a PR that I've created. Um, pretty soon, hopefully, we'll be able to merge it. Um, it adds a test to CI to be able to build and rolling, and it fixes a few of the issues in the Move It repo. Um, to make it compatible with rolling and foxy. So, um, just check out might take a little while. So, uh, I can talk about what the, I guess, larger issues are with rolling right now. The larger issue with rolling is we, there are a lot of upstream repos of Move It 2. And you'll see that in a bit when I, uh, download all those upstream repos. Um, they are not all released for rolling, so you have to build those too. And there's one repo that is nearly compatible with rolling, but not yet, and that is uh, Move It to Control. Um, Baton created a PR that makes it compatible, and hopefully soon that gets merged or something else that makes it compatible. Um, and then hopefully all those packages get released and then we can release ours for rolling, use it. But as it is right now, um, if you want to use move it to unrolling, you have to build from source. Just, just fine. Um, I'm in a hotel cause I'm on site customer doing work. That's why I'm not in my normal office and you don't see the face in this video because I don't have my camera with me or lights. Um, the internet here in the hotel is uh, not what I'm used to. So downloading Move It 2 is apparently, well. Um, that being said, we're, we're really excited about the Galactic release because there are a bunch of bug fixes and improvements over Foxy that are coming into Galactic. And uh, Galactic, my understanding of it is it's um, sort of rolling frozen in time. It's all the good stuff that's unrolling uh, cut into a release. And we hope to be able to release Move It for Galactic. Um, that mostly depends on our upstream repos being released for Galactic as and uh, also rolling. Like rolling, if they release for Galactic, they can release for rolling at the same time because. It's the same thing right now. My understanding of rolling it, it's it's much like Shadow Fixed was for Ross One. It's just like trying to get more people to use it, which I think is really good because I I don't know how much testing Shadow Fix actually got outside of the core team on Ross. Um and so when you release something and it sat in Shadow Fixed. I mean, I hope people were testing it. I, I know we didn't always test stuff in Shadow Fixed. We tried to make our CI test, CI system test stuff, and never detect any issues. I guess that's a testament to how stable everybody's code was. Is. Almost there. Still internet. So sad today. 126 bits a second. 
forget what it's like to be on bad internet until I am on. Oh, going a little faster. Here we go. Anyway, um, I'm gonna open a new tab here, and I can open a uh, notes file and show you what all the commands are that I intend to run. So these are the commands I intend to run. I'm gonna break them up a bit. First block is just checking out the repo and stuff. Um, the second one is checking out move it or downloading move it. GitHub repo clone, and then seeding into it and changing it to the PR that we need. Um, and then we need to do a VCS import. That PR has a, a repos file with all the um, packages you need to build to be able to build move it and rolling. And then ROS2 control, we have to check out this one package, do a ROS step for everything. And then last, we, we build. Um, I probably won't build in this video as you all know what that looks like, but trust me, this works. At least I'm testing it right now and it works. Before I made this video, we'll go back and see what it looks like. 93%, um, we're almost there. Come on. Um, make that make that 100%, hit the like and subscribe so you know when Picnic posts new videos and when we're around. You can also find us on Discord. I, I know I've plugged that many times, but we re I really am on there all the time, and it's a great way to chat with us and bug us about issues you're having or bugs you find. Um, less formal than a GitHub issue, and we'll probably respond a little faster. Also nice to chat with people. Stuff you're, stuff you're using. All right. Okay, we're there. We got it. All right. So I'm gonna CD into the move it thing, and then I'm gonna do GitHub PR checkout. Uh, four thirty four. That's the PR that um. That's move it build. On cross two. All right. Yeah, feature. Um. Now we have to do the clone. So VCS import, uh, move it to, move it to. Did you something wrong? It to rolling repos. All right. Here we go. This might actually take a little while. And this might be the end of the video. Um, eh, no, it's it's working pretty quick. I don't know, maybe check it out just move it to is bad. It is a big repo. I wanted to show you at least checking out uh, the PR and ROS2 control. About that. Thanks to Vuitton for making that. Go. Um, a much less form her much less prepared video than many of my previous ones. Me waiting on it. Okay. This is useful to some if uh only because the description down below has the instructions for building rolling. If anyone would like to test that out or develop on rolling or one of the big benefits of using rolling is there are a lot of bug fixes, um, a lot of new features in ROS2 that are awesome that have been merged recently. And the only way to use those is to use rolling. Great. I use it in my active development locally. Come on. I bet it's just the, um, I bet it's just the, uh, 
got his own PL. That's a lot. So that's one of the things we do have to build from sources of PL. Another thing, oh, another thing I'm going to note is there are a lot of deprecation warnings that you'll see if you build for rolling. And all we've done so far is make stuff build. We haven't gone and heated any of the deprecation warnings. Eventually, I hope to do that, or I hope somebody does. But for now, it builds. At least on this PR and current state of rolling today. Uh, due to the nature of rolling, this will not always be true. I mean, I hope it's always builds, but this PR might build on rolling. We're able to adapt quickly. Be able to use rolling regularly. Oh, come on. Well, here, I have another. Uh, I'll just show you guys. So, uh, so I have a. Uh, uh no. Uh blogging on my focal machine. All right. Um I have this this one. And if I go in here and I go into um Ross to control. You'll see I'm on PR transmission uh, add macro, and that's because I did a GitHub PR checkout 414. And um, GitHub interactions with GitHub are really struggling right now, but if I go up here, um, I'm in a new one, so I have to source up uh, Ross rolling set up for the PSH. I'm gonna do a Colcon build mixin. Gosh, if you don't know about mixin, you should learn about mixin. Um, it's great. Um, it it makes a lot of shorthand. So yeah, all this stuff builds. Um, I'm just gonna end the video here. Um. You can trust me that it, it does complete right now. Um, thank you for watching. This is Raised Your Ross IQ. Have a good night.